Wow, the Christmas cave looks so much better. Let me tell you something, the Kamari method does work. Hi guys, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we're going to be organizing all the Christmas decorations since we use the Kamari method. So this is episode part six. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder and recovering one at that. And I show you the messes and I tell you my mental struggles. And we declutter my hoarded house in a small sections at a time so I can make good decisions to let things go and make decluttering a positive experience. So we are going to be organizing everything this episode because we did five weeks worth of decluttering and now we can finally organize what's left over and also decorate too. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this was a big question from a lot of you guys was how many Christmas bins did we declutter over the past five weeks? Well, my friends, the answer is 12. We let go of 12 bins and boxes of stuff. That is all empty right now. I know if that is not an extreme Kamari method, I don't know what is. All right, so over here is still what's left over of what we've decluttered in the past five weeks. A lot of it is gone, right? This is what's still on Facebook Marketplace and I'm gonna wait another week until I donate it, but some of this stuff in these two bags have been up on Facebook Marketplace for about three weeks, three to four weeks now, and it's time to let them go. I'm gonna take them to Goodwill now since no one's interested in buying them because I have to make sure that this stuff is actually going out of my house. Let me show you this really quickly. This is what we call the Christmas cave. This is where all the Christmas decorations are stored throughout the year. Now, in the beginning of November, that's when you saw this, and this was a hoarded, hot, mess. So now I'm excited. It's empty. We can start to get the bins, organize them a little better and put them back in here. All right. So let's separate some of these bins that we already emptied out and decorated in the house and find out which bins still kind of need to be organized and which still have to be put out in the house. All right. So I will need new bins for organizing because from the miscellaneous pile that we decluttered, this right here, this is my Mrs. Santa outfit and our boas and our hats. And I still have fun stuff that's upstairs that we dress up in. So I need to make a bin for all the dress up stuff and my festive shirts and Christmas sweaters because every year I can't find them and then I buy new stuff. No, I'm not doing that anymore. We have so much stuff that we can actually organize. This right here, I wanna make another bin because this is when the kids were little. So this stuff, is gonna be extremely sentimental. All their little things that they made. So I kinda of want that to be in its own bit. All right, so as I'm looking at these bins, it looks like this one did not get put out yet. Now, most of the bins as I'm organizing, I can tell that they're already out, but I'm gonna put this one up. I'm gonna decorate this one. And let me show you just a quick little tour of the house. Oh, I just love how the fireplace looks like when it's all decorated for Christmas. But my most favorite thing in the house by far is my Christmas tree with all of my beautiful ornaments and all of its Christmas magic. This is my absolute favorite thing in the house. Ah. 
Another beautiful spot in my house is the bay window. When it's all lit up, especially with my vintage Christmas tree, I just love how it looks all decorated up. Time to come outside. And of course, you know I have my front door decorated, especially with my wreath, all bright and festive with the lights and the garland. And at night, I just love how the house glows with all of our uh, precious decorations that we love and that brings us happy. The kids love seeing it. They get excited when the house is all decorated for Christmas time. And I just love how everything looks. Now, let me show you these pieces right over here. Hubby made them. Yes, he did. He made them out of wood and painted them up and I absolutely love them. Right, now that you got a little Christmas tour of all of our Christmas decorations, now it's time to start putting these empty bins back. Now, I'm still learning how to organize. I'm gonna be very honest. I'm a hoarding learning how to do this. So if you guys have any advice for me, please let me know in the comments below. You guys help me so, so much when it comes to decluttering and organizing. It's how I have gotten this far. So something that we have to invest in is a wrapping paper like plastic container to hold all these wrapping paper. And again, I'm not buying any this year at all, not even the clearance wrapping paper. We're only using what we have this season. But let me show you the space. All right, guys, moment of truth. Will you look at that? Oh my gosh. The difference that the Christmas cave looked like a month ago around Halloween, you couldn't walk in any of this space. It was full. And look, you can actually see everything. You can see every bin. Every bin is labeled. I know what's in them. And yes, they go far back, but like this row is like living room. Here's kind of like, you know, costume and, and different things. The Christmas trees back there. There's some of the ornaments. This is wrapping. This right here is wrapping like bags and stuff. And then this down here is crafts if I want to craft them. I didn't label them because they were clear and I could see them, but oh my God, it's organized. Look at that. Holy smokes. And right over here, here's some of the outside decoration boxes just right here on the side. I can't believe it. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is what it feels like to be organized. This is what it's like. Holy crap, that makes life a lot easier, doesn't it? <laughs> so let me refresh your memory and bring you back to November 1st, 2020. Here is what the Christmas cave looked like when we first started doing the Kamari series on here. And it is just jam packed with stuff all over the place. There's no organization. I don't even know what's in there. It was just a hot mess. And I'm so incredibly glad that we took these six weeks to take the time to declutter everything and to get to the point we are today. Just a reminder, this was everything that we have decluttered using the Kamari method for the past six weeks. And that's why we were able to open up that space so much. All right, let me show you the back corner of this basement where all those Kamari method episodes were held. It's empty. All that's left are the empty boxes that we decluttered. And it's just so strange seeing like such a huge empty space in the basement. And it's, it's kind of exciting, right? To see what the future holds after you declutter and take your baby steps, right? Each and every week we were in this basement decluttering it more and more. And it's just making me realize, wow, it really does feel good to not hoard anymore. All right, everyone. So there you have it. It took us six weeks to get to this place. 
I have had decades upon decades of work of Christmas decorations. And I've been wanting to do this each and every year, but I never carved the time to dedicate to doing it. And I'm so grateful for this channel because if I didn't start that series, it would have been the same. It would have been a hot mess in the Christmas cave. I wouldn't know what was in there. It wouldn't be organized. And it's just, it's amazing to get to this space, to think that I actually have a space that's organized with things that I love. That's crazy. I never thought in my entire life I could get to that point, but we are. We're here, and if you wanna catch what it looks like in the beginning, there's a link in the description box below where you can see the Kamari Method on the Christmas Decorations Part One. So guys, oh, I'm just so excited. I just love Christmas. Don't you worry, I did not forget to stop at Goodwill to make sure that I donate my two bags that are full of Christmas decorations and I really hope that they go to a new home that someone will love their new Christmas treasures.